It's November 2014, and this is a wow signal burst. Number one, the astronaut instruction manual for preteens. Welcome, this is Paul Carr, and we're here with Mike Mongo, astronaut teacher. Hello, Mike. Hi, Paul. And today we're talking about Mike's new book. He's just recently successfully crowdfunded the publication of. It's called The Astronaut Instruction Manual for Preteen. Mike, how did this book get started? Uh, a few years ago, I wanted, when I real I'm 49 right now. A few years ago, I'm when I was 42, it re- I realized I wasn't going to get to be an astronaut, and I thought what was it, what would be the next best thing to being an astronaut, and that would be encouraging young people to pursue pursue careers in space. That's how it got started. <laughs> and uh, where where does how does the book fit into that that plan? Well, and at that time, this was uh, several years ago. I wrote the first draft of the astronaut instruction manual for preteens, and then I self published it. In self-publishing it, I went and and promoted it and also promoted the idea of encouraging young students to pursue careers in in space and and space science. And over the years, that got me a a good amount of attention and credibility for being the sort of the go-to guy for anything to do with students in space. So this past year, after I had done any number of conferences in uh, 2013, I thought now would be a terrific time to get this book out on the regular market. And I queried a new company called InkShares. They're a, a traditional publisher with a, a crowdfunding front end. So they accepted my query letter. Okay. We we went to begin to do the crowdfunding, and it just turned into this marvelous, very popular campaign. And so we we did the campaign. The campaign was very successful. We raised ten thousand. We, we we hit our goal ten thousand five hundred dollars. It it ran for two months. We 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 have a terrific base of of pre sales, and it showed to Ink Shares that there's an audience for this book. They're tremendously excited about it. And now we're just getting all the all the we're doing all the back end stuff to get the book and the book published. Uh, tell me about the book itself. If you're a 10, 11 year old kid, what will you find in the book that interests you? The book is written for young students between the ages of nine to twelve. What I do is that I bring space home to them. I I actually let them know that space is theirs. That regardless of what they had been told about space and what we had thought about space in the past which is sort of exclusive, which is one of the reasons I, at the age, for, at the age I was, that I realized, I, it dawned on me that I wasn't going to get to become an astronaut, partially because it wasn't an opportunity for me. Today's students look forward at whatever career, in 10 to, 10 to 15 years from now, there's going to be pretty much every job that you can do on Earth, you'll be able to do it in space. And, and all I'm doing is bringing it to today's students' attention. This book pretty much says that exact same thing it gives in it gives sort of tweaks guidelines methods adjustments on what a student can do to make themselves most aligned with the career of with any with any kind of space career because the kind of the kind of thing that we're going to be doing is i mean we're going to have space janitors we're going to have space concierge we'll have space bellhops we'll have we'll have we'll have space bakers space Space, space food managers, space architects, space carpenters, that sort of thing. And if anything that students want to do on Earth, they can pretty much, they pretty much will be able to do in space. I don't, I don't know anything more fun than that. I mean, when you're between the ages of 9 to 12, when you, that's, the, that's when we begin to imagine ourselves in, role, in roles, rather. When you are that age and someone says to you, now think about doing whatever job or or career that you're imagining in space, it kickstarts the imagination. It it gives a, a spark to the imagination that I've had tremendous. I'm, I mean, just the best kind of success with because that I've had the best kind of success with because kids like to hear that 
the future is awesome. That's right. pretty much what it comes down now, to. T- tell us about some of the people who've endorsed your book. We had uh, TED Talk fellow Rachel Armstrong. She's she refers to herself as a living architect, who, and she's well known for her ideas of creating spacecraft that are biomechanic, really, that are like living machines that we would live in in almost a in a sort of comfortable symbiotic fashion the the walls would be intelligent the sort of thing that that and then uh doug robertson who wrote a, a fantastic book called that's the weird teacher and other things i've overheard my students saying he's sort of a rock star teacher he's he is really big into figuring out interesting ways to encourage students to go after whatever goals they have in mind for themselves and so he he just connected with the material he had an advanced review copy, and then you know one of the one of the one of the ones that really made a lot of difference for me personally was Vent Surf, who is the vice president of innovation at Google. He is also who we call the the father of the internet. He he invented TCP/IP. He was one of the first people to get on board and said, "This is a great idea." And what clicked with him was in the book is this message. It's pretty simple. Is that in learning, in learning to go to space, we discover what in, what will enable us to stay to be able to stay here on Earth, and that's he he's really into that kind of thinking, that innovation solves today's problems, and, and that's one of the things we, that I promote in in the astronaut instruction manual. On those kind of lines, Congressman Joe Garcia supported the book. He's been a big advocate of STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, mathematics. STEM education, STEM careers for students, and this was right in line with that. Oh, you know, another person that came on board is Alyssa Carson, 13-year-old future Mars walker, who has been to every NASA space camp in the world. She's the first human being to get her passport stamped at all the NASA visitor centers in the world. I think there's 14. And she funds all these, she funds these experiences and these travels and these camps by applying for scholarships and grants and doing the sort of work that we would look for in a student who wanted to become an astronaut. But her goal is to become the first human being to walk on Mars. And she's 13. And it, it, was, a, it was a really random connection. She and I ran into, a con- ran into one another at a conference before. And her dad met a friend who knew a friend of mine. I live in Key West. And this friend w- it was big in the arts program and moved to Baton Rouge from New Zealand. It was very random. And then the next thing you know, Alyssa Carson is writing the forward to the book. And she sort of represents the target audience. Her message is, is parallel to my own. She's not just some young person whose parent is pushing them into space. This is a, this is a strong-minded individual who very young realized that we as Earthlings have to go to another planet in order to survive, survive and succeed. I mean, she talks about it very eloquently, the dangers of asteroids, and and uh, reiterates, I think it was, uh, I can't remember which scientist said that a single planet species is doomed to failure. And she tells this to her young peers, and I'm honored to be working with her. She's That, that turned out terrific. And so we had, a, we had a lot of, we had a lot of social media validation, a lot of validation on Twitter and and Facebook and that sort of thing. And that really gave the campaign wheels. And that's how it happened. Okay. Mike, uh, people want to learn more or pre-order the book. Where do they go? Kidastronaut.com. You can Google Mike Mongo astronaut teacher, or you can go right to kidastronaut.com. You can get the book right now. The book, the, the main book will be out in, in next year sometime. I'm thinking around summer. But there's going to be a preliminary copy available for pre-orders. Pre-orders are taking place on, on, on kidastronaut.com right now. Okay, well, thanks, Mike. And uh, we hope that the book is hugely successful. And we'll talk to you, I'm sure, very soon about some related topics. Okay, thanks a lot, Paul. Right. Thanks, thanks, I appreciate Mike. it. Okay.